Hey guys, it is Dr. Sharifa Clark, your favorite chiropractor, and it is Monday. And I want to wish you guys an awesome Monday, a great week. You know, I just hope that whatever you're praying for, believing for this week, that you will get it. And it's just such an awesome time for me to talk to you guys. Today, I want to talk to you real quick about situationships. Now, people have had situationships, and I'm going to go ahead and define it real quick. Uh, I'm going to define it in terms of a relationship. A situationship is where I guess you're in a relationship, but not really. That's what a situationship is. When you when someone asks you, okay, are you and so-and-so in a relationship and you're like, well, yeah, kind of. No, you're either you're in a relationship or you're not. So that's where the, the term situationship really came from. However, we tend as people, especially as believers, we tend to have situationship with God. We have a situationship with faith. Um, we have a faith, a situationship based faith. We have situationship based faith where we only have faith for particular situations. We don't have like a blanket faith that everything will be fine, that God is going to work everything out regardless of what it is. We have situationship based faith. And um, I realized that I had this you know, a while back, maybe a couple of years back, I really realized that that's the kind of faith that I had or my faith turned into that. And for example, when I was in school, like I had faith that I was going to do well. I had faith that I was going to pass my boards, had faith that I was going to pass all my classes that, you know, I believe that I, was, I just had the faith that that was going to happen. I had to believe that that was going to happen point blank period. Now, the reason why I realized I had that level of faith or belief so strong is I partly had, um, a part in doing that because first of all I had to study I had to do my work because clearly if I don't study if I don't do my work that can't happen no matter how much faith I have if I don't put in the work it's not gonna happen so I had faith based on situations that I know that I had a lot of input into now the way to really test your faith and not having a situational type of faith is you have faith in things that you have no control over. You have no hand in it. It is all about God. It's all about him working it out for your good. So I'm going to challenge you all to have a blanket faith, a faith in God that regardless of whatever it is, that you are going to believe that he's going to do it. And now how you know that your faith is there is once you pray about it, you leave it to him and not worry about it after the fact it's one thing to pray about it and continue to work towards whatever it is if you have some work to do in it but you need to pray about it and stop worrying about it that's how you really test your faith once you really put it in God's hand what's the point in worrying because at the end of the day God is going to work it out how it's meant to work out and sometimes this may not be how we want it to work out unfortunately fortunately for us but his plans are always better. So get out of the mindset of having a situation-based faith and having a blanket faith. God is going to work everything out the way it's supposed to. I will, again, I want you guys to have a great week. Thank you for listening to this word. Share it with someone. You may never know who may need to hear this right now. And again, if there's any artists out there, go ahead and email me, Clark at gmail.com. That is that is d-r-s-h-e-r-e-f-f-a-c-l-a-r-k-e at gmail.com and again have a fabulous week again have a blanket faith and not a situationship faith go ahead and uh, send information or message me at my dm on instagram or right here on facebook whichever one talk to you guys soon